Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this will be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 21st to uh, October 27th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump, jump a right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Libra, that is going to be the Four of Wands. Followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week here, we do have the Queen of Wands. Followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect that the week is going to present to you here, we do have the uh, Chariot card. And then the last one which refers to the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you. This will be the Ten of Cups. So these four cards is what we do have here. All right, so uh, the Four of Wands as a topic is going to be catalyzed in your case by the Knight of Swords. So what we do have in this position, it is a uh, active supporters, first of all, and it does look like that this week is all about you finalizing something in your life, or finalizing an important cycle into your life that could be project in, in a career or just sealing the deal with an endeavor into, uh, into your relationship. But important thing to be acknowledged is that that is going to be the week where you're going to attend to the most um, urgent details in regards to... <clears throat> in regards to the deal that you want to close so you can open a, a new chapter if you will into your life because the four of wands always refers to finalizing an important cycle that appears as a milestone you know into one's environment milestone career wise milestone relationship wise and especially when we do have the knight of swords here uh, it looks like that you are going to be able to manage to sort it out or to settle it to settle it's down uh, the way you're gonna feel uh, emotionally okay with it if not emotionally fully emotionally satisfied because those cards are referring those two cards are referring that whatever direction or a decision you are to make in order to finalizing this cycle into your life Libra it's always going to be consulted with your emotions and with your feelings that is so it is very unlikely that at the end of the day you are going to have a feeling of, of, of loss or a feeling of despondency you know feeling of sorrow and so on and so forth and also your um how can I say it? your brilliancy is going to shine, showing acute perception, showing intelligence into how you tackle with things, into how you tackle with your partners, for example, endeavors or rather like with your partner situation or with a career endeavors and so on and so forth. But above everything else, you're going to have that determination and 
courage as well to bring the things to their natural end and under end I mean a milestone from which you can keep on building up. So the challenge here is going to be the Queen of Wands and it is accompanied by the Six of Wands. That is going to be a person a bit peculiar falling into this uh, into this position with that uh, <clears throat> in, into the narrative that we're following here. Uh, first of all, these two cards are, are a active supporters and uh, that is a person sitting on a high horse, person who thinks that knows everything, can do everything and everybody owes them something. So how they are going to relate to your situation is going to be in a different way. They, unfortunately, these cards does not say how they are to relate to you. That could be the person who thinks that they deserve more than you, you know, the milestone that you are to sort to settle. It could be your competition. It could be the third party that wants your, your partner and so on and so forth. But definitely we do have some, uh, we do have in a competition here the things that they are better than you are. Uh, the things by a large margin for that matter. And uh, that person is feeling very um, angry, I would say, and very vengeful as well that you are getting the appreciation that they think they deserve instead. <clears throat> Are they going to play sneaky and are they going to cheat? I don't think so. In uh, in reality, I do believe that they will try to outshine you in any way they can. And believe me, they can do that. It is just because they do have that acute sense into business, into the human nature as well. And in generally, they are very uh, skilled into picking up opportunities. Um, that person, I mean or people that are symbolized by the Queen of uh, Wands. And also their charisma and their presence is very strong. But your ace here or your thrump, it is your brilliance, it is your intelligence and your determination. Because for what it seems, <clears throat> uh, that thing that you are competing with the Queen of Wands, for the Queen of Wands, it is just, you know something to giggle her uh, her or his ego. It, it doesn't have a substantial meaning for their life. While for you, it has a huge substantial meaning. And that is exactly the niche that you can uh, that you can follow so you can win into this competition. The next card it is in regards to the positive aspect and we do have the uh, <coughs> chariot card accompanied with the magician. So these two cards are, are, first of all, they are passive neutrals. And what those two are pointing, it is that in a positive aspect throughout this week, it doesn't look like that there will be any kind of situation that, uh, that can undermine your enthusiasm and your determination for eventually ending up victorious. And should you not drop off your determination, you eventually are going to end up victorious here into this competition. I mean, it is granted to you by the chariot card because the chariot is the most strongest when you fight against odds, you know, especially when the situation looks looks helpless or hopeless or simultaneously both. Suddenly you can pull out miracle from your sleeve and eventually enjoy the luck of your hard work, individuality, you know, wish fulfillment as well and uh, the rewards of, of your labor. Now with the magician on a, on a neutral position, it pretty much a, how can I say it? It pretty much speaks, uh, it's, it's a very thin line here of, uh, of interpretation, but it pretty much speaks that there is no room for negotiations at all. Uh, the negotiations are only may milder a little bit the competition, but it's not going to drive off the competition or it's not going to drive off the one that it is striving toward your milestone, Libra. So that being said, I would suggest you here throughout this, uh, throughout this week not to try to settle terms, but instead try to overpower those which are a... Uh, which wish you to get to be out of their way and like I said their way it is something that they don't even need okay <clears throat> it's no different than two army fighting um, against each other and the one that fights for for its land obviously fights in a more fearsome way so this is something that uh, you need to keep in mind 
And the last card, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, we do have the Ten of Cups and it is accompanied by the Seven of Cups. So these two cards are a passive supporters. And what they tell you, Libra, it is that um, whatever the milestone you are after, either into your career or either into your relationship, it is a truly a thing that will allow you to put a much higher value in your life or upon your life. I mean, your life is going to become much more brighter. It's going to become much more dappled with colors, if you will, and is going to additionally to that exceed your expectations when you achieve the milestone, when you complete that important and substantial um, cycle of yours. And additionally to that, there is even more room to grow for you from that point moving on forward. But should you, uh, should you reach that point where you uh, settle the score, you know, and where you attend to the, um, attend to the, the, de to the details of the situation and drive off the competition, it will be important that you do take your time to indulge yourself with the victory. And while you do so, objectively think of how you can develop it, develop it into something even bigger. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.